hello everyone and welcome to this video where i will be talking about that how you can work with a container control in power apps so we will see in this particular video that what is a container control and how you can make a startup screen how you can select a startup screen in your power apps so let's first start with what is a container control in power apps basically a container control is used when you want to group your logically related controls to create some hierarchies so basically in a container you can hold or you can put a set of related controls and their own properties and containers they don't work with forms and these are below uh, controls which are not supported as of now in a container control so please remember you cannot use a data table control pdf viewer control or web barcode scanner control in a container control as of now so let's see this in action first of all we will see that how you can uh, select the startup screen in your power apps so let's see this in action let me navigate to my power app uh, screen that is make.powerapps.com so here i have added two screens on the left hand side you can see i have added two screen one is the screen welcome src underscore welcome and another is src underscore intro now if i uh, run this app let's run this app uh, first of all so you see this is the first screen which is coming but i don't want this screen to be my first screen because in this screen i have added some controls you can see i've added a label control and a rectangle control and in the intro screen i have added a button and on this button i have written that on selection of this button let's navigate to the welcome screen so basically i want my intro screen to be the first screen for the user but as of now what is happening that when i'm running my app when i'm currently running my app what is happening is that uh, this is the screen which is coming which is says welcome to power apps crash course so how to make this intro screen as the first screen so in power apps it's very simple what you have to do the screen which you want to make as the first screen when your app runs what you have to do is you have to just move up this screen okay so i have added this move up now you can see my intro screen will be the first screen and welcome screen will be the second so let's run this particular app now you see this is the desired output which i was looking for and i'm waiting when i click on enter because on an on select event of enter i have written some logic which is navigate to my another screen so i click on enter it gets navigated to the other screen which is the welcome screen so that is how we have seen that how you can select the startup screen in your power apps all right so now we will see that what is a container and how you can work with container control in power apps so let's see this in action so here it is i am in my power apps environment again this is make.powerapps.com so we have to see today in this video that what is container control and how you can work with it so first of all i just want to share an information that your screen whatever screen you are currently working in whether it's a intro screen welcome screen for example on my screen you can see your screen is also a container because your screen contains many controls in it so the first and foremost container which you can consider in any power app app is your screen your first screen which you create now in this particular video let's add a new screen i'm adding a blank screen okay and uh, why i've added a new screen i just uh, rename it so let's say src underscore container so i'm going to show you uh, that how you can add a container control in your power app so this is uh please remember this is the screen where i am in a screen is also a container so if i want to add a let's say control in it which is a con container control and please remember just container container control is available in layouts category so in layouts you can see there are multiple other controls gallery controls uh, horizontal and vertical and at the same time there is a container control so i'm adding a container control now so let's expand it so that it is more visible so here you can see this is the container control let's navigate to the tree view and in the screen the container control has been added this is very important now in this container control you can add multiple other controls uh, inside this container but please remember that in which container you are adding either you are adding it in a container control or in the screen okay 
so let's add uh, some other controls as well let's add a text label in the container please remember that you have selected the container and you are adding the controls in your container control so now you can see this label has been added inside the container and not inside the screen so you can say this is the nesting of the containers also so one container is the screen and another container control which i have added manually and in this container control let's add one more control uh, let's add button here so please remember again that if you are adding a, a control in a container so from the tree view please make sure that your container control is selected and then you are adding your different controls so let's say uh, dummy container control i have just changed the text property of this label so that it is more visible and let's do one more thing uh, let's change the background color of this particular control so let's uh, make it yellow so you can see now my container control is of a different color now what is the use of why i'm very much excited about this container control and what is the use precisely how you can use a container control first of all it gives you an option of making the controls visible or uh, you can hide these controls so if i make this property visible as off now you can see there are no controls which are available and this complete container is hidden now so if i run this app now you see there is a blank screen this is a blank screen why because i have made the container control as invisible now let's enable this visible property once again let's make it on and if i now run my uh, power app now you can see there is a control container control which you can see on the screen so this is the first thing which is very very helpful for a container control and other thing is that in a power app if you want to create a model pop up kind of functionality or a message box then also you can use this container control so that's all about in this video we have seen that how uh, you can work with a startup screen how you can make any screen as a startup screen in power apps and at the same time how you can work with the container controls thank you